Hi friends! My junior year in college, I got a job as a writing tutor and the room that we worked in the library became like home to me. Three weeks out of every month, my job consisted mostly of eating lots of pretzel sticks and drawing otters on the whiteboard, but then one week a month, maybe two or three days before they were due, all the freshman composition assignments came in and we'd have back-to-back -back appointments with all these newbies who were hungry to do well but unequivocally thought they were bad writers. One of the first things that you do in a tutoring appointment is you ask the reader to read their paper to you out loud. And I remember how one by one they each turned a shade paler at the thought of not only having to show me their work, but having to say the words that they wrote out loud like they owned them. I used to feel the same way about writing. In high school, I filled up so many notebooks with writing that wasn't necessarily good, but it wasn't bad for a 10th grader, and it was mine. And then I entered it into a writing contest at my school, and even though I won the contest, I started hearing all this gossip about how the AP English kids really hated it, and so I didn't show my writing to anybody who wasn't grading it for years. When I realized I hated my advertising major, I was scared to switch to English because of all that writing. But I ended up in an advanced composition class that I used to dread because we would split up into groups of four and every week for the entire semester we had to read our work out loud to that group. And it was terrifying, but I realized by like assignment two that with people giving me feedback on how to revise my work and actually taking it, I ended up with some pretty decent stuff. I liked it enough that I switched to a writing major and got a job helping people do the same thing that that class had done for me. The thing that I heard most often when I talked to writers was that they felt stuck, like they just couldn't even get started or that they'd run into some sort of wall where their writing just couldn't get better. That's what reading out loud is for. You start by asking the writer to explain their assignment and their thesis or argument and maybe they can't quite articulate it yet, but you talk through it out loud and good tutoring ends up being like holding one end of a ball of yarn and letting the writer unravel and untangle it until they see exactly how to get from their end of the string to yours. Finally, they get to the surprise reveal of the point that they were trying to make all along and you write that down on the piece of paper you've had in front of you the whole time taking notes and you circle it and say, start there. Now you're not stuck anymore. You can rewrite and revise. Reading my work out loud helped me too. It helped me untangle my thoughts enough to see that maybe my original thesis didn't hold up, that my short stories were emo trash and therefore I was a bad writer. But I couldn't support that with evidence. I rewrote and revised my understanding of writing and of myself to realize that there are so many genres and forms and ways to be a writer. So fiction wasn't my thing, but I liked introspection and I liked telling stories that were true. So I circled that in my notes and decided to start there. In the comments, tell me something that you once believed about yourself that you had to revise. Also ask me your questions about writing, I might save those for a future video. If you like this video, you can subscribe, you can also find me pretty much anywhere on the internet at It's Radish Time, and I will see you next week. Bye!